does not begin at 40. Life does not begin at 50. Life doesn't begin at 30. Life begins at Calvary. At the foot of the cross where God shed his blood that you may have life and have it more abundantly. The precious blood of Christ, which according to Acts 20:28, 20, is God's blood. God's sinless blood that was shed that you may have life. That life comes from the way, the truth, and the life. That is in Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. For the wages of sin is death. You're going to die. They're going to put you in a graveyard. And when you're put inside of a graveyard, guess what? You are in a congregation of Bible believers. Everyone in the graveyard believes this Bible today, whether in hell or in heaven. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through, through Jesus Christ. And not only just Jesus Christ, but Jesus Christ, our Lord. See, Paul warns us, there's another Jesus out there. There's a Jesus you can eat. There's a Jesus you can have multiple wives. There's a Jesus if you go out and kill people. There's a Jesus who is not God. There's a fruity, faggot Jesus. Who does he know why he made the rainbow? And yet, the Bible Jesus, the Jesus that was born of a virgin, the Jesus that sat at the right hand of God, the Jesus that came to Calvary's cross, is the Bible-approved, God-approved Jesus that ye must be born again. For there is no other name given upon man whereby you must be saved. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, because I dwell in the presence of the Lord. Since April 1987, I have received the Lord Jesus Christ as my I am born again. I am washed in the blood. I am pure. I am a child of God because of Jesus. And not of nothing what I've done. I'm a sinner. And you're a sinner. And you need the same thing I need. You need the precious blood atonement of God. No man cometh unto the Father that is God. No man comes unto the Father. You can't get to God without the way, the truth, and the life. There's no way to God outside of Jesus. Religion can't do it. That can't fill the void. You are not good enough. For there is none good. No, not one. Yeah, though I walk to the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You fear death today? Listen, I fear the way of death. I don't want to burn. I don't want to drown. I don't want to suffer. I hate pain. But I don't fear death. I welcome it, because when I die, to be absent from the body, be present with the Lord. That's the surety I get from the Bible, Jesus, from the Bible salvation. And you can have that same assurance through the same Lord Jesus Christ that died upon Calvary's cross, that was buried according to Scripture, and arose again the third day according to Scripture. Go to the graveyard and dig up a pulp. He's still laying in there. Muhammad's still in the grave. Joe Smith is still buried. Brigham Young is still buried. Mary Ellen White is still buried. But Jesus Christ sitteth at the right hand of the Father, praying for us, seeking his bride. And one day you'll give an account to him on your rejection or your acceptance. 
acceptance of his atonement. Man can't save you. For Jesus alone and only Jesus saves. John chapter 3. Continue.
It's not money. It's not membership. It's Jesus Christ. And God does not want to send you into hell. He wants you not to go to hell. He wants you not to go to hell so much he sent his son to die for you. He sent his son to pay your penalty. Jesus paid the price that you cannot pay. God is long-suffering. God is reaching out to you today to a loud mouth like me to speak the very words. What is God telling me to tell you? Well, let me try to tell you in my scratchy voice today. I'll tell you what God is telling you. Don't go to hell! Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That is what God is telling you. I'm not here to tell give money. I'm not here to give God ten bucks, you'll get ten thousand, that's a bunch of garbage. I'm here to tell you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Notice I didn't say church. Notice I didn't say religion. I said believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Let's do it again. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Acts 16.31. Let's do it again in case you didn't get it. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Let's do it again. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I hope you hear that all night. I hope when you have your beer, you hear, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I hope when you're with that partner, it's not your partner, you hear, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. When you sell that watermelon, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I just taught you a memory verse from the Bible. Hey, there's hope. Hey. And that hope, according to Titus 2.13, is the blessed hope, the Lord Jesus Christ. God does not want to condemn you. But if you choose to reject, it is your choice that God does condemn you based upon your decision right now. If you choose to reject God, God's going to reject you. Don't think you have tomorrow. Hundreds of people never woke up this morning and had plans to do today. Somebody's going to wake up and go to the beach today. They never woke up. Satan, well, Satan's words of doom for someone who wants to come to Christ, I'll do it tomorrow, and tomorrow never comes. Tomorrow's always tomorrow, it's never today. There are two things for idiots to say. Hey, watch this. And hey, Jesus, I'll wait till tomorrow. Hell is full of people, I'll wait till tomorrow. But it's a point on demand wants to die, but after this, the judgment. Don't be fooled in thinking that you can put off. Nothing is worth putting off the salvation of God. No sin is so enjoyable that you can put off the salvation of God.
Jesus Christ, you are already condemned. You have a ticket to hell, and it's not a staircase, it's a slide. When you die, you wake up in hell. And there's no reset button, there's no game over, start again! Once you are in hell, you don't come back, I don't care about all the songs and stories, you know, they come out and, you know, I saw the great light, well that great light may be a train ready to hit your butt. But once you die and go into hell, by rejecting Jesus Christ, you do not come out. That's it. Too late. Too gone. And how long will you be in hell? Try eternity. All eternity. Oh God, I can pay for my sins. Yes, you can. You can pay for your sins burning in hell. That's what it costs. What does it cost for adultery? It costs a lifetime in hell. What's it cost for lying eternally burning in hell? See, if you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you got to burn for your own sin. That's how you pay for your sin. You burn for all eternity. You stick a needle into a flame to make it clean, to sterilize it. Well, God will stick you into a flame to make you clean and to sterilize you. The problem is you can never come out because you'll never be clean. But there's no good, no, not one. There's unrighteousness. No. So paying for your sin takes eternal. Trust in Jesus Christ to pay for your sins is an instant gratification. It's an instant satisfaction that pleases God, and He'll give you eternal life without pain, without sorrow, and forever to be with the one that loves you. He'll even give you a new body. See, you're in condemnation right now. You're not going to hell. You are in hell. Your body hasn't made it yet. But you can change. You can call up and you can get your tickets changed. And the ticket booth is Calvary. Come to Calvary's cross and say, I want to change. They say, how do you want to change? I want to repent. I want to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, but I want to set my destination out of hell and into heaven. I want the way. I want the truth. And I want the life. The more you speak, the more I speak. Because I love to proclaim. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power. It is the living. It is the life. It is my encouragement. It is my And it's, and it's all, and it's all free. It don't cost anything. There's no cash. There's no check. There's no money on her. It's absolutely free. Paid by Jesus. And delivered. What are you doing? Why pay for something when it's already been paid for? When you can't pay it? Doesn't that sound stupid? I'll tell you something else about people in hell. You're stupid. You are really stupid to go into hell when Christ has already paid what you
that for salvation. It's simple. Even a five, six year old can be saved. Anybody, any language, anywhere on this miserable planet can someone be saved. And this is the combination that light is coming to the world. Jesus Christ came about 2,000 years ago in the human flesh, born of a virgin, born in Bethlehem. He was born that he might die for your sins. He came knowing when he and how he would suffer for you and still suffered and bled and died that you may have life and have it more abundantly. And you choose to reject and you wonder why God is angry with you. Light has come into the building, folks. And that light is from the King James Bible that we are preaching to you right now. That light is the way, is the truth, and the life. The light is Jesus. And Jesus alone. Who is God? And God is Jesus. Acts 20, 28. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. You know why you're not coming to Jesus? You know why you're mocking? You know why you don't want to hear me? Because you are a cockroach. You love darkness rather than light. And when I bring the light of the gospel, when I bring the light of Jesus Christ, when I bring the light of the Bible, I put that light on and you want to run away. You don't want to hear. Oh, but if I set up a table with Budweiser and sandwiches, you come running if they were free. You'd be asking for more if it was free. You go for Budweiser, the king of the beers, but you won't go for the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you love darkness, and every barroom is darkness. You cockroach. And God will slap you into hell. The wages of sin is death, and that death is darkness. That death is burning in hell by rejecting Jesus Christ, where you need not reject Jesus Christ. But the Bible says, what must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Listen, we're not here out of hatred. We love you. That's why we're here. That's because America's a sissy nation today. Because America has no backbone. She has no spine. She can't stand up to Bible preaching. The Bible says. The Bible says. Listen, folks. Isaiah 58, 1. 